Oh, it's working. Oh, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm doing this for the first time on my iPhone, and I think this is what I'm going to do from now on because it's going to be a lot easier to upload and everything, and I'm able to see myself so I can see that I'm not talking like this or whatever. And, yeah, I'm sporting the full beard right now. I'm doing it for my boy, Harden, that's going to represent tonight. Um, anyways, it's been a while since I last vlogged, so quick update. I'm down in Florida. If you haven't noticed, the sunshine and all the beautiful houses and stuff around me. I was going to try to like, sneaky get to the water, but I don't really know how to do that without walking through someone's yard. But, um, but yeah, I'm down here uh, at the Sunshine State Games, and uh, not really too much. I mean, we won the tournament and stuff. I obviously wasn't playing. It was all it was a Florida reunion team, so you had a bunch of people from the 2006 team show up and play, and a bunch of people from the 2010 team, so it was the two national championships, two national championship teams playing together, but it was a lot of fun, it was co-ed, which is good too, always to get out and just have a good time, um, so we didn't really do too much footage of that, but there is a pretty cool catch, now, real quick, about, I didn't really want to talk about this in the vlog, but real quick, for those people that think that it's not very difficult, and click the Everything Ultimate. There's the HD version on the Everything Ultimate, and there's the original version on the Brody Smith 21. So click whatever up there to check them out. But for those of you that don't think it's that impressive, let me say a few things. I'm not going to say go out and do it because I don't want people to get hurt. But that was like his third or fourth layout because it was a competition. So they had done a bunch of stuff prior. So his feet were wet. The grass leading up to the uh, the layout, the slip and slide area, was all wet. So the fact, I mean, he's jumping through something and it's not, I mean, granted Rob was standing like five feet in front and kind of just dished him a little, a little past, but it was one of those things where, I mean, it was the first try. It wasn't like we were trying to film something super epic and crazy to where, you know, I'm throwing a pass 70 yards and he perfectly times it through the thing. Uh, that might end up happening now because I like the idea of doing something like that. But um, for those people that are saying like that is super easy and why is it not impressive? I mean, he's got a really small area to jump through. And, you know, I think it was, pre I, I thought it was impressive. I thought it was cool. And the whole setup of it and stuff when they're getting it together, I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way he's going to do this. So he ended up doing it. So it was cool. But, this is what I wanted to talk about, because I need to talk about the Miami game tonight, too. Where am I at? I'm at three minutes. Okay. I got two minutes. Real quick. Name change. What do you guys think about this? We were talking about this over lunch and stuff. Right now, Frisbee and stuff. Frisbee might go away as an actual trademark, so we could potentially use that. I don't really like the word Frisbee, though, because I think a lot of people associate Frisbee with hippies and all that stuff. So as a sport, I don't think it's a smart idea for us to call it Frisbee. But... What do you think about the word flat ball? Now, I know it's not a ball. It's just like football. Football is not really a ball, necessarily, I guess you could say. But flat ball, I'm kind of a fan of it. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the, description, in the comments below. But my whole point about flat ball is this. Is the fact that calling something ultimate, it's kind of weird. Like ultimate fighting, I don't know. I mean, there's fighting, I guess, and there's ultimate fighting. Is calling something ultimate, calling something like if you played the game epic or you played the game ridiculousness or whatever, like all those things. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of having a sport named after an adjective. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. I'm going with flat ball, and you can call it the major, major league flat ball, MLF, whatever. I don't know. You and some people might get the joke there. But uh, you guys decide what you think about that. Post in the comments. Also... Last thing, uh, where am I at? 4.25. Perfect. So last thing I want to talk about is uh, the Miami Heat games tonight. I got the Heat winning tonight just because I think LeBron's going to go off. But I think it's going to be a difficult series because, I, I don't know, I think Harden is going to be the difference maker. Maybe Westbrook, depending on who Wade guards. If Wade guards Harden, I think Westbrook is going to really take advantage of Chalmers guarding him. Potentially Cole might be coming off the bench guarding him. I don't know. Uh, but I think their big three in Harden, Westbrook, and Durant, 
is going to put a lot of pressure on them offensively. It's going to be a very difficult series uh, for the Heat, as well as, uh, as well as OKC. But I got the Heat winning the first game, but I think I might have to pick OKC winning the whole thing. But I'm not a LeBron hater like a lot of people. A lot of people out there want to see him fail. Uh, I personally like LeBron. Um, I know he didn't do a cool thing with the whole Le Le Cleveland thing, but, you know, he's a guy out there doing his job and trying to do it at the highest level possible, and he's doing a good job. So that's what I have to say about that. Under six minutes, no big deal. Let me know what you guys think, who you got tonight, Miami Heat, who you got in the series, uh, Miami Heat, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, man up.